it has never been the duty of the First Lady of the Federal Republic of Nigeria to call a meeting of a political stakeholders, which include the Vice President and Army Chief, into a meeting to discuss a national issues. Her Excellency, the Nigeria First Lady Aisha Buhari, on the 25th day of May, has called for a meeting conference with the Nigerian political stakeholders in the governmental position to resolve economic, political and security issues in the country. She made this declaration public on Monday, 25th May 2020, while announcing to the government officials, including the Nigeria Vice President, Yemi Oshibaju, Chief General of Army, Tuko Burutai and others, about the security breach in the country. She told officials that it is time to make Nigeria great again. Based on the information gathered by Sahara Gist, Aisha emphasized and talked seriously on the habits of Northern, Northern and Wu transport the Amajiri from the north to the south during lockdown. She said that the lockdown was imposed by the federal government to control the spread of the COVID-19 virus, but the Amajiri were allowed to be transported all the way from the north down to the south. However, some Nigerians reacted to her speech with anger. Some even reacted whether she's the president. And some of the comments says, or some of the reactions says here that your party APC has brought this country to the verge of collapse as we are today and still on the seat with the same people you are asking. With Abba Kari of the way, Aisha is in control. If the man we voted for is slow in acting or has failed to act, somebody must act very fast. Another says here that Kari was not the president. He was not a relation of the president. He didn't campaign with the president. His office is not the constitutional office to be able to do what he did. Someone says it's obvious that you are the one ruling now. Start from making Nigeria great by declaring SME terrorists first before we call. We can hear you out. Are you the president? Why giving directives? Okay. Ha. Is this real? Why can this, can this be real? Aisha calling for conference saying it is time to make Nigeria great again. Hmm. Wait to Are we saying now she's the president or she's the one acting on behalf of the president? And some of the those are the comments that you know came with a, that statement she made. Although she has good intentions, but the topics at hand is not hers to talk about. She can only advise her husband on what to do, on how to go about it. Her husband, Mr. President, should at least call her to order, mostly when it comes to national issues like this. What is your take on this? Hmm. Honestly, this thing has been going around. Uh, I think if maybe she's coming, maybe she might come to debunk it that she never says so. And you see what has been happening. Of course, Aisha can do more than that because she has even done even bigger things like this in the past. So calling for 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 conference to have the vice president and the chief of army staff, it's something that hey, uh, I think uh, it's really it's way beyond her. Of course, some of the women had tried it in the, uh, in the past before, just like a uh, good Lord Jonathan's wife did that thing to when the security was really bad. Then I think uh, when it was a Chibok guest case. She called some people and a lot of people did not even show up. And a lot of everybody was like, Where is the president? What was the where was the president at that time? And even when I don't know whether a uh, uh, Yaradua, Tura Yaradua, why uh, Yara, Tura Yara, uh, the Yaradua's wife, whether she did the same thing, you know, when they were trying to hide a lot of things. So I think uh, that pattern has been like that. But this one is, is taking a different distance because we are not even seeing the president from from the one he's been hiding from nigeria nigerians he's been hiding he does not want to speak i don't know whether he's not eloquent of course a lot of people will be able to relate with or with the reason why they have been hiding him whether they are the, they are why hiding hiding him or is the one who does not want to speak to nigerians but they can quickly come out to say oh yes yeah, so people voted for him then come and talk to the people you voted for okay a lot of reactions uh, from Nigerians as well. Someone says here that yet the blinds cannot see and that the deaf cannot hear that Aisha is now in charge of Asso Rock, which was exposed by Prophet Mazi in Namde Kano. Mm. The death of Abakari. And please, where is Oshibaju? Is CC our vice president? 
Very soon the blind shall see and the deaf shall hear. Just very soon. Another says here that uh, Aisha could be actually giving us a lead up to something we, we the vulnerable public, the, uh, don't know. For her to come openly to make this pronouncement means a lot. Is she indirectly telling us that the presumed husband Buhari is not what we think it is to be? Definitely, this call is a hint to something very vital to the nation as a whole. Okay? Something now, wow, only God will help us in this country. Hmm. Someone say, your head is there for this statement you made. My brother, flesh and blood has not revealed these things to you, but the spirits on point. Kano said it, I agree with you here. Hmm. Lots of people are buttressing uh, to the statement of that, this particular person. Another says here that uh, in a country where there is no president, no vice, no vice, Madam Buhari is supposed to be the president, first lady. You do it, well. carry on. What a man can do, a woman can do better. Leave husband, let her carry on. But one thing is that things, right thing, things must be put in right perspective. Of course, that is the mindset of many, but that is not the way it ought to be. That is not the way it ought to be. Okay? God's wonderful. God is wonderful. See how God has lifted this woman from the room, the other room, and from the kitchen to the to Oga on top now chairing the arms and executive forces meeting discussing economic and security matters hmm. where is the vp uh oh okay where is uh where vp oshibajo will be present where general buari is is alive strong and fit is can only be but a miracle from god nigeria and nigerians belong to God Almighty and we surely see us through. Where is the president that we don't expect his wife to talk or act the way for God's sake? Femi Adishino said we cannot control and command the president simply because Nigerians ask for their president to address them. The way the president is even greater nations do. Femi had forgotten that the president was even elected. He fixed we are in a military regime. So do we then continue to remain in the country as if we don't have a president? Do we even think the president's wife is stupid by taking, talking that way? She did that because she knows exactly what is happening in the Aso Rock. The same presidency is saying over 150 memos were treated by late Abakari without the consent of the president. So what are we then talking about for God's sake? Nigerians suffering and smiling. We like pretending a lot in this country. God have mercy. You can imagine the same people who said they are in charge. The same Unam um, Dekan who said the gas area is empty. The same uh, Aisha Bari who came out, who has been coming out for, for some time now, that uh, the the presidency has been hijacked. Now, uh, she, uh, they are telling us that uh, everything is all right. Even telling us that the memos are, that were signed, that the Abakiari signed, that the president was not aware of those things you can imagine is it not dancing their image and some people will come and clap for you don't don't, don't forget it huh? now wow <clears throat> the foundation of this country is really really faulty really 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 faulty okay one day god will give aisha boldness to tell nigerians the truth about who actually is governing nigeria now very soon this will happen thank you madam aisha the question is that is what she's doing is self serving or a way to move the country forward or not also is it a right first lady or not to aspire to make the country great again if she has chosen to compliment her husband in the business of nation building what then is her sin people are so hysterical to the extent that they can suspect their own images that is why the country is not moving forward. Okay, with this your statement, so the country is moving forward. So a lot of people, about three people responded to this statement. Someone says, Mr. Man, you cannot sincere, you cannot be sincere with what you are saying. Did we vote Aisha for the first lady of Buari? Nigeria is not someone's father's property. Nigeria didn't belong to Buari. Okay, where do you belong? Is she the president of the nation? Another says, yes, you are right. She knows the ball game. Remember, she's 
often said the cabal have hijacked the government and she's also had dined uh, with them sometimes before she packed out of Asu Rock for her coming on board and carry out of the way new series on board we will have interesting stories to hear. Hmm. Hillary Clinton was so much in government during the day of her husband as she as the president of the United States of America. That is why in previous government she was in the key decisions making, making positions as the Secretary of the State. Aisha Buhari cannot be compared to the likes of Abakiari and the Kabas, who are ancient in ideas and back to the future in knowledge of a good economic development in the democratic system. Those Kabas came to government just to replay a tribal and personal agenda that brought clauses of hatred against the president. Therefore, she has every right to make sure that the country returns to the to lost glory of its name. Why? There is time. The soup is sweeter at the middle to bottom of the pot. I believe that there is a new breath of fresh air after the demise of of the former uh, chief of staff. Please leave Aisha Bwari alone. I like her style, ways of thinking for the interests of her husband and for the good of the country. Okay, I think uh, some people do not agree with this uh, statement. Someone says, doesn't she has a role to play in the country as first lady? She's your first lady in the country for your information. If your brain still could not comprehend that, I think the proper thing for you to do now is to hug transformer. Okay, I don't think that's a statement credited to this person. Okay, if the husband is still alive because the man is dead and North people, Northern people know that Buari is dead and the man, uh, Dubri from Sudan, doesn't know what to do. Hmm. So, a lot of reactions here. And then, let's have your own sake because a lot of people said the Buari should call Aisha to order. Is Buari ready to do that? The woman has come out uh, on many occasions to say one thing or the other. The man never said anything. And I don't think <laughs> Buari is in the position to call the woman to order. He will never do that. That is how it rules. So, leave your comments below and let's have your take.